you were smart, Kay Bennett, you would take this photo of Miguel and throw it away. <sighs> he might never come back. Why did I let Jessica talk me into buying this Mark product anyway? I mean, she's already on her way to being the first millionaire in the Bennett family because of all this Mark stuff she keeps selling. And I'm not gonna need makeup when I'm in a convent. Hello? It's because these colors are perfect. Gosh. Mm. I'm never gonna get you out of my mind. Hello, it's Tabitha. Wakey, wakey. I am awake. What? What's wrong? Is the baby all right? Oh, yes, Marie is absolutely fine. As is my little Indora. They are both safe and sound at home with the babysitter. And we, my dear, have much to celebrate. Celebrate? <laughs> Yes, I brought my two new best friends along. <laughs> Good thing I brought twins, isn't it? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> Tabitha, you're nuts. I mean, what time is it? <laughs> time for you to buy what? <laughs> As I said before, time for us. Celebrate! What do I have to celebrate? Oh, getting rid of charity, of course. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> oh, no, Tabitha. And you're a witch. You're supposed to know everything that goes on. Don't you know what's happened? Yes, of course I do. <laughs> charity is gone. We're finally rid of charity. <laughs> yeah. Charity's gone, but Miguel's gone, too. What? Miguel went to find Charity. So, you know, I, I have nothing to celebrate. I lost him, Tabitha. I lost Miguel. <gasps> Dr. Russell, what are you doing here? Wait, it's not Teresa, is it? We thought she was asleep. Did she call you? No. No, Teresa didn't call. Wait, then who did? Well, no one did. Uh, Eve's had a very bad time of it. She needs a place to stay for this evening. I see. Eve, you are more than welcome here. Thank you. I'll get your bag. Thank you, Julian. Eve, is there anything we can do to help? Anything at all? No, thank you. This, there's nothing that anyone can do. Just ruined my life. Eve, you don't have to talk about this right now. Let me take you upstairs. Julian, what does it matter? Everyone's going to know tomorrow. You know what? You ruined your life. What do you mean? I'm staying here tonight because. I've destroyed my family. I'm a liar and a whore. Thank you, darling, for sitting out here with me. I know it's been a long day, and I know you're tired. I couldn't sleep any more than you could. It's unnerving, isn't it? Having our children so close and not being able to tell them where we are. Yeah, my son and your daughter. Damn Al Sturfer. Messing our lives up the way he did. And Luis and Sheridan's as well. I'll find a way to make him pay, Catherine. I swear I will. You know where I am, Martin. Come and get me. <laughs> Mr. Crane. It's Nick. I'm outside of Paloma's bedroom. She's asleep. I'm ready to start the next phase of your plan. Good. I'm convinced young Paloma's the key to destroying my wife and her lover. And Luis and Sheridan. But be careful. If Luis catches on to you, he'll immediately suspect that I'm behind it. Just take care of Paloma. 
and don't get caught. Don't worry. I know how protective Luis is of his little sister. I won't get caught. What a beautiful little girl. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna enjoy this very much. sure Paloma's okay, but I don't want to knock in case she's asleep. Well, Mrs. Wheeler unlocked her door earlier, so I'm sure it'll be okay to just take a peek. I told you that he would go running after her, and he did. You know, so you got rid of Charity, but you couldn't manage to keep Miguel from chasing after her. But, but why would he? I distinctly heard Charity tell him not to follow her. Well, obviously, he didn't listen to her. Damn, damn, damn! <sighs> and it, he came here to tell me that he was going, Tabitha. He said that he loved Charity, and that he was going after her. And he said that if he couldn't talk her into coming back to Harmony, he was going to be with her wherever she ended up. But what about Maria? I mean, what, what, what about his commitment to being a good father? I guess his idea of being a good father is uh, sending me a check once a month. Okay, I'm so sorry, dear. Yeah, so am I. Oh, how I thought we had succeeded this time and that we really had a reason to celebrate. Wrong again, I guess. Well, we'll just have to fix it, won't we? I'll have to... I'll have to come up with a spell that will keep Miguel from finding Charity. Really? Yeah. And if he can't find her, <laughs> then he'll come back to Harmony. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can, can you do that? I mean, your powers haven't been exactly impressive lately. No, don't rub it in, dear. And don't forget, I have Endora to help me now. So somehow, some way, we will bring Miguel back to Harmony to be with you and Maria. Well, I'll believe it when I see it. Simone? Kate, Simone, what's wrong? It's my mother. You won't believe it when I tell you. My whole family was destroyed tonight, and it's all my mother's fault. About bloody time. Oh, well, I guess there is a reason to celebrate after all. Ethan and Gwen might as well know, Julian. Everyone's gonna know tomorrow anyway. Oh my God, Eve, what has he so upset? Years ago, before I met and married T.C., before I was a doctor, Julian and I were lovers. Lovers? You and Julian knew each other years ago? We met when I was singing at a club in Boston. You were a singer? You were... The, the voice that you always listen to on the... tape. That's Eve. Well, to make a long story short, I, I started drinking too much doing drugs. I'm not proud of it. It was a very destructive lifestyle. You make it sound as if you were to blame when it was all my doing. She was a naive, innocent girl from a small town. I took advantage of her. Julian, I allowed it. I had to take responsibility for my own life. Tonight, my sister Liz exposed my past to my husband and my daughters. Wait, Liz is like, your sister? Liz, Liz is your sister. Well, this is my sister, and she's held a grudge against me for years, ever since I left home. 
She blames Eve for the abuse she suffered from her father when Eve left. Liz wanted revenge against me, and tonight she got it. So I never told TC about my past. I guess I, I didn't trust his love for me, and now my husband hates me, and my daughters despise me, and my life is, is ruined. <laughs> You know, if she hates her family so much, why does she have a picture of us in a row? She doesn't hate her family, Louise. She's just hurt that she had to grow up without any of you. Look at her. She's so sweet. So vulnerable. I wish I'd been here to protect her all these years. And you know what? From now on, I'm going to be whether she likes it or not. Luis, you fool. You can't protect Paloma any more than you can protect yourself. Your whole family's gonna be destroyed. And it starts now, when you and Paloma and my lovely daughter Sheridan die right before my eyes. <laughs> You've been through so much tonight. Let me take you upstairs. Yeah, Julian, I can help Eve get settled. It may help to have another woman to talk to. Thank you, Quaz. All right, well, I'll, uh... I'll grab that. I'll check on you later. Okay. Thank you for standing by me, Julian. I wouldn't be anywhere else. Okay, let's go upstairs. Well, it, um, sounds like you've had a pretty rough night. Well, I don't care about myself. I just hate to see Eve go through so much pain. Adriana! Hola! Senora Wheeler! Senor Wheeler! <sighs> Buenas noches. You're up late. Neither one of us could sleep. Would you like to join us? Si, gracias. <sighs> How was your day? Very good crowd at the cantina. Lots of turistas, lots of tips. At least something good happened tonight. I'm afraid that we've had a bit of a stressful day. Yes, I, I can see it in your faces. I know just what you need. Some nice, soothing music. Something that'll help you relax, let you sleep. Si pudiera explicarte lo que siento, si pudiera regresar a our song, Mark. Yeah. A song of lost love. Locos del amor. Nunca imaginé que sentiría este dolor. We've lost so much love in our lives. Can't let Alistair get away with it. Can't let that bastard take anything else away from us. Ever again. I'm sick of listening to your empty threats, Martin Fitzgerald. Say goodbye to Paloma and Louise. I'm glad she's sleeping so peacefully. Maybe she'll be in a better mood when she wakes up. I'm sure she will be. What are you waiting for, Nicholas? Make your move now! Take all three of them out right now. I can't believe that. Your mother and Julian Crane? Yep. And she didn't even try to deny it either. And do you remember Liz? Talking about her horrible, evil sister? The one who abandoned her when she was just a kid. Yeah. It's my mom. The evil sister. Liz is your aunt? Yeah. And she 
I idolized my mom. So you can imagine how hurt she was when she saw my mom turning into a tramp. Okay, my mom was a drunk and a drug addict. Not Dr. Eve. Oh, how shocking. Simone, I am so sorry. Gosh, what a horrible night you've had. <laughs> That's not even the worst thing that happened. Chad and Whitney are getting married. Married? Yeah. They got engaged. Again. What? My gosh, Simone, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that I was so mean to you about Miguel. You were right. Now I know how you feel. You've lost Miguel. And now I've lost Chad. Oh. <laughs> Chad and Whitney getting married. <laughs> oh, could this night get any better? Oh, this union will bring so much pain to Harmony. And to Eve and Julian. <laughs> You must have a lot of questions. I don't want to pry. It's your uh, personal business, Julian. I behaved very badly in my youth. I was very um, selfish, and I had no idea the pain that I would eventually cause Eve. Well, she doesn't seem to be blaming you for anything. She wouldn't, but I, I blame myself. I blame my father. You see, the great and powerful Alistair Crane, who can topple governments with a single phone call, can also find the time to destroy innocent people's lives like Eve. He forced me to walk away from her, you see. I, I should have stood up to him, but I was young and I was weak, and I, I abandoned her when she was most vulnerable. It's hard to imagine the pain a man can cause the woman he loves. I know, um, the pain I caused Gwen and Teresa. How does it feel to love two women like that? I mean, the way I feel about Eve, but to feel that for, for two women. It's confusing. <laughs> it's confusing, to say the least. I'm coming to terms with the way I feel about that, and I know now that uh, Gwen will be the only woman in my life. She's a very special woman. Yes, she is. You'll never leave her, will you? Never. Never. We're gonna... We're married. We're gonna have a family together. Ironically, thanks to, uh, Teresa. Can't imagine Gwen is too thrilled about that. No, she's not. But she's coming to terms with that, too. And the main thing is that we're together, Julian. And I'm not gonna let anything or anyone come between Gwen and me again. So there are fresh towels in the bathroom, there's soap, shampoos, and, and just let me know if you need anything else. No, you've been more than kind. Thank you for not asking questions. You're welcome. Gwen, this might sound ludicrous coming from me, considering the mess that I've made of my own life. Could I give you some advice? Of course. As soon, God willing, you can have a beautiful, healthy baby. And you already have a wonderful, loving husband in Ethan. You're going to be a family. Don't ever let anyone or anything come between you. Family's the most important thing in the world. You have to cherish them always. There's nothing, nothing can ever replace them. Well, Leave Plomo is safe from Alistair's threats growing up here in Mexico. Yeah. 
One day we'll be able to tell Paloma how lucky she was to be growing up in this beautiful little town, away from my father's evil doings. Yeah. Come on. You blew it. Luis and Sheridan were sitting ducks and you waited too long. I know, but they're not going anywhere. I'll get them. Right now I want to get to work on the beautiful Paloma. You know what to do with the beautiful Paloma. I know exactly what to do. Simone, I think you might want to wash up a bit. You've you've got mascara all over your face, dear. Yeah. It is? Mm -hmm. Okay. Not that it makes any difference. No one's ever gonna love me. It's all very well and good for you to pretend to commiserate with Simone. Who's pretending? Well, your situation is entirely different from Simone's. Is it? Yes, I've told you I am going to come up with a spell to prevent Miguel from finding Charity. He will back back in your life in no time. Uh, you know, I I'm not so sure you can pull it off, even with Endora's help. Don't you underestimate my little demon baby and me. Oh, come on, come on. Shoulder, soldier on. Show some spirit. Spirit? I've just lost the man that I love, Tabitha. He, he walked out on me and our baby. And in case you forgot, I can't have any more children. I'm a single mom with no prospects of having any happiness in my life. Well, you can see it that way if you want. But frankly, I think you should stop feeling sorry for yourself and show some spunk. Like another young single mother I happen to know right here in Harmony. Who? Teresa. She's not feeling sorry for herself. Well, she should be. Not only has she lost Ethan, she, she lost her little boy too because the courts took him away from her. And then Ethan and Gwen adopted him. Gosh, she should be way more miserable than me. Well, she's not. But then she has a backbone. And she has a plan. What kind of plan? Well, suffice it to say that when she is through with Gwen, Gwen will never know what hit her. Now, I'm off. I've got to get cracking on that spell. I want to make sure that Miguel doesn't find charity and we get him right back here in harmony. Okay? Ta-ra, dear. Ta-ra. That is good advice, Eve. And believe me, I have no intention of letting anyone come between me and Ethan again, especially not Teresa. You think Teresa's trying to come between you? Well, I'm not completely convinced that she isn't, but right now my primary concern is our baby. A you know, baby that Teresa is carrying. I don't know, Eve, I've been so worried that Teresa's not going to give us the baby once she gives birth. Oh, no, Gwen, I can't imagine Teresa not giving you your baby. Neither can Ethan, but he seems so convinced that he's right and that everything's going to be all right, and, and I guess I need to believe it, too. Well, I hope that you get everything that you want and that your family is always close. I, I wouldn't wish the kind of pain I'm feeling on anyone. Everything is going to be all right, Julian. You think so? Yeah, of course. You know, I can't, I can't predict the future for you and Eve, but I truly hope that both of you can find happiness again. That's my hope, as well. But I... I hurt Eve so. I don't... I don't know if she can ever be happy again. Solo quedan recuerdos 
solo queda tristeza en mi alma un vacío un corazón que me pesa solo quedan mis sueños oh, I love this song. solo quedan mis penas we've all lost so much How much loss can we endure? I know Luis hates me right now because I abandoned him and his mother and the other children. But... Well, Sheridan may hate me when she knows I'm alive. Maybe she won't. Somehow, we'll find a way to show them how much we love them. That we left them for their own good. I just pray we can keep them safe from Alistair. I'm telling you, I hope Wilma gets a good night's sleep so tomorrow she'll listen to reason. I'm sure she will get over thinking that she was sent away because no one loved her. Hope so. Oh, Luis, listen. It's so beautiful. I know this song. Yeah, this is one of my mom's favorites. Really? What is it? It's so haunting. No, it's a song about two lovers who've lost each other. And are separated time and time again through circumstances. Sad. No. Hey, it's like us. We're back together again. And I promise you I'm never gonna let anyone or anything come between us again. You think you can stop me from coming between you and Sheridan, eh? You're as big a fool as your old man, Luis. You and Martin are so alike. Big heroes. Well, you're not doing a very heroic job of taking care of your little sister, are you? Because at this very moment, my man Nicholas is the one taking care of her. How's Eve? Well, she's in so much pain, honey. I feel really bad for her. Yeah. I feel bad for Julian. He had so much love in his eyes. Sweetheart, it is more important now than ever that we don't let anyone or anything come between us. Okay, we need to cherish each other, our baby, our family. I know, I know. So that's why I think that once the baby's born and, and Teresa gives us our baby, that we need to leave town. We just need to leave Harmony forever and just never look back. Ah, oh, Julian. You all right? Need anything? I had everything that I needed when this day started. I, a loving husband and two beautiful daughters and beautiful home, and now I, I have nothing. Oh, you. Is it just a few hours ago since I had my life come down on me? I don't know. I have my own issues with time. All these years, the years we could have spent together, they were taken away from me. I'm sorry, Julian. Eve, I do love you so. And I hate that you're blaming yourself for all this. Everything that's happened is my fault. Oh, the blame is ours to share. Know that you're not alone. I'm here for you. I, I, I know it's, it's way too soon, but I must tell you, I'll take whatever part of your life you're willing to share with me. I'm here for you. You're not alone. I love you so much. I'm never going to let you go, not ever again. <laughs> so glad you never gave up on me. Never. 
Not even when you were convinced that you loved Antonio, I never stopped believing that we belonged together and that we'd be together in each other's arms. No, I never thought that I would be lucky enough to have a man love me as much as you do. Come on. Any man would love you. I never felt loved. Yes, my mother loved me, but after she died, I had no one to love me. I mean, not my father, not my brother, and all the men I loved only wanted me for my money, my name. Never for me. Lucky for me, they were all a bunch of fools and idiots. <laughs> I love you. I'm never gonna stop loving you. And we're gonna be together forever and ever and ever. Mm -hmm. Enjoy yourselves while you can, all of you because your bliss is going to be interrupted any moment by an unspeakable tragedy. <laughs> seems to be the problem. C can't you see these things flying around? What things? I don't see anything. Blankets, toys, flying around the room? Uh, now, I warned you, I will not abide drinking on the job. Here, take your money. Get out of here. I don't want your money. I just want to get out of here. <laughs> Dora, you have been a very naughty girl. <sighs> now we're going to have to cast a spell so that babysitter doesn't remember what happened here. I asked you not to terrorize the poor girl. Oh, well, we'll deal with the sitter later, huh? Now we have work to do. I need your help, Endora. Yes, in creating another spell. A very important one. But first, let's have a look at the other poor, unfortunate citizens of Harmony and see what's happening to them in this fair hamlet of ours. <laughs> yes. Isn't it marvellous? Oh, things are going from bad to worse. <laughs> so much pain has arrived already. And there's so much more on the way. <laughs> what are we going to do, Simone? I don't know. Become nuns? <laughs> I never meant it about becoming a nun. I was in love with Miguel by kindergarten. That's right, you were. You are always so strong. Mm. I could always count on you. I should have listened to you about Chad. No, okay. I don't know any more than you do. Look at me. I'm a mess. When I heard that Whitney and Chad were engaged to be married, it was just like my heart got ripped right out of my chest. Mm. I know, I know. I felt the same way when Miguel told me that he was going to follow Charity. The good thing is, I guess, that things couldn't possibly get any worse than they are right now, can they? No, no. Don't say that. I had to learn the hard way that things can and they do get worse. They always do. <sighs> Honey, we need to leave here, okay? We need to move far away from here, away from our troubles, away from temptations, and we have got to put Teresa behind us. Uh, Gwen, Teresa. <laughs> Teresa's not a temptation, okay? I love you. I will never allow her to come between us again. Sweetheart, please, okay? We can't take any chances here. We have got to protect our family. We need to leave here. 
All right. All right, if it's, if it's that important to you, we will leave Harmony. Okay, as soon as the baby is born, we'll go wherever you want to go, okay? Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you so much. Look, we're going to move away from here, okay? We're going to start a life that is ours. It's going to be yours and mine and the baby's. Okay, it's going to be wonderful. Julian, you're always so kind to me. You're such a good man. You know, I wasn't always. After I lost you, I... I was so cold and bitter. But having you in my life again has made me... made me want to be better. A man worthy of your love. Sure. Eve. I can't lose you again. Please find a way to try to keep me in your life. You'll always be part of my life. Tragedy deserves the appropriate background music. my marriage before it's too late. I want you, T.C. Russell, and I always get what I want. Yeah, I'm a sweetheart. Oh, my God. Look at this. NBC Tonight is a night of finales, starting with a Fear Factor couples finale. No! What will they do for a million bucks? <laughs> Then, the series finale of For Love or Money. It seemed like just a game to her. Maybe he'll feel bad and take me over the money. It's hard to believe her. But in the end... This whole thing sucks right now. It's a shocker you'll never see coming. Oh, my God. Couples finale on Fear Factor and the series finale of For Love or Money, NBC Tonight.